Black Ops Gulf War Zombies, new gameplay details regarding the maps, wonder weapons, easter eggs, and more. As you know, I've been covering lots of leaks and rumours surrounding this year's Call of Duty game, which is going to be the return to round base from Treyarch, the sequel to Black Ops Cold War, set in the 90s slash early 2000s. We've already received a lot of information from prior leaks and rumours. It's rumoured that there's going to be two round base maps. One is apparently going to be set on Terminus Island, which is the island where Jack Fletcher from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies enlisted on in the 90s, so he could be a character involved there, and this is probably one in the same island as the island in the Pacific that Dr. Peck is requesting a boat to head to at the end of Forsaken's post credit scene, where he will likely be trying to rescue the Requiem heads that were apprehended by Eddie Richtofen after he shut down Requiem, and it seems like on this island there is in fact a boat, as well as there's going to be a underground prison slash laboratory, which has given me very similar vibes to both Blood of the Dead as well as Zetsubo no Shima. With Kevin Drew working on this game and he also worked on Zetsubo no Shima, it seems like this map will have a lot of similarities to that map. And personally, I really like island maps. I really wonder what the vibe is going to be of this map. And the second rumoured map is apparently going to be a town in West Virginia that we learnt about in Cold War Zombies Intel, where after the events of Cold War Zombies, Richthofen had this town shut down, was trying to remove civilians from the area, and was building giant walls, underground tunnels, and all sorts of stuff for an unknown reason. Maybe some sort of Dark Aether Rift. It's also rumoured that this map could potentially be some sort of transit remake, maybe remaking the town section, considering the fact that the jet gun has been found in the files of the game for this, suggesting it may be back. But following on from this news that we already knew, I just thought I would recap it to you there, we've learned even more information coming from Alan the Third over on Twitter. Apparently on this Terminus Island map, there is going to be an arrow trap. It's possible that maybe this island was some sort of old island inhabited by tribes that have lots of old wooden traps similar to what we saw on Shangri-La, for example, and maybe Richthofen then turned this into a facility, but it still has some of those old traps remaining. Now, previously, it was also rumoured that there's going to be some sort of tentacle trap on this map, which gives me massive vibes from Extinction within COD Ghosts and the Mayday map, and I'm wondering if there could be some sort of giant Kraken boss, but this leads me on to the next new leak, which is that a new dog variant has apparently been found in the files of the game that has tentacles. So maybe it's going to be similar to the Plague Hound, but with tentacles, and maybe this is somewhat relevant to the tentacle trap as well. Maybe there's just going to be a lot of Apothecan-esque creatures on this map coming up from the ocean, because it is also possible that considering the fact that this is going to be set in the Pacific, we know that Samantha Maxis and Ravenov diverted Dark Ether missiles in the first Outbreak quest to somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Now, it doesn't seem to be the exact spot of this island, but it might be close by enough where that high exposure to Ethereum has mutated a lot of animals and sea life in the ocean that might be coming up onto the island. I think this is stuff that they should have explored more in Zetsubo no Shima. For example, we had the Distant Monster Easter egg, and maybe all this Lovecraftian looking stuff could be involved on the map. I'm very hyped about that. Now, we're not sure if this dog variant is just going to be on the island map, or it's going to be on both or all future maps. Nevertheless, another enemy type that's been found is the Mangler, which is apparently also going to be back. Now, honestly, I thought this was a given. We saw the Mangler's return, of course, in Firebase Z, and then they've returned pretty much constantly ever since, and we've saw them in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and I personally think that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies was probably first in the works for COD 2024, so it makes sense that a lot of enemies that we're seeing in that game are also back in this game, because now COD is using a unified engine, everything's kind of bleeding into each other and feeling very similar, and that's why we're even having all of these leaks to begin with, because of this unified COD HQ, it means that future stuff is being found in the files for future games, even though they're not even out yet. Now, lots of people are annoyed because they're saying that the Manglers are being overdone, and they also worry that the Mimics might also return or in this game, since they've returned also in Modern Warfare 3, and honestly, I think the Mimics are probably going to return, and that is a concern for me as well, that the gameplay is just going to feel too similar between all of these games, because the enemy types and variants are all going to be very similar, so we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Let me know in the comments, do you mind that they may be bringing back a lot of returning enemy types that we saw in Cold War and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, or personally, do you not care at all? If they're going to be introducing new enemy types as well, then there's just going to be way too many. Maybe these are just going to be on specific maps. For example, the Manglers might just be on the West Virginia map, and they might not be on the island map because the setting doesn't really match as well. Not exactly sure. Now, the next big thing is that apparently there is going to be some sort of wonder weapon, and it's probably going to be the one on the island map, considering we already have the jet gun rumor to be on the West Virginia map, and I doubt it's probably going to have more than one wonder weapon. That's some sort of weapon 
that causes enemy skin to start bubbling, similar to what we saw from the KT-4 on Zetsubo no Shima, is going to be the wonder weapon on this map. Now, it doesn't specifically say it's going to be on the Terminus Island map. Like I said, I'm just speculating it's probably going to be on the map because it fits the theme of the map the best, especially regarding the fact that there's tentacles and stuff on the map. Now, I've seen lots of people saying that this might mean that the KT-4 is returning or a weapon that's similar to the KT-4, but I think a lot of people are, for some weird reason, forgetting that the KT-4 isn't the only wonder weapon that does this. In fact, it was the Sliquifier on Die Rise that was the first weapon to do this. The KT-4 is basically just a worse version of the Sliquifier. I even remember when Zetsubo no Shima released, lots of people were complaining because the wonder weapon is so similar to the Sliquifier, and it has me concerned that they might be doing another wonder weapon that's the same as this when they've already done it twice. That's kind of annoying to me. It really sounds like this map might be similar to Zetsubo no Shima, especially if the wonder weapon's going to be similar as well. I hope it's not just a straight-up remake or remaster of Zetsubo no Shima. I literally joked ages ago on Twitter about a Zetsubo no Shima remake, and for some weird reason, some people took that as a legitimate leak when it wasn't. It was just a nonsense joke. And if that ends up turning out to be a reality, that would be crazy, but yeah. Definitely don't want to see two remakes if the other one might be having some sort of transit incorporation as well. Now, other stuff that's been found in the files of the game is that the Wonder Wharf has apparently been found existing in T10. This could just be left over, but honestly, I think the Wonder Wharf will probably return, considering the fact that it did in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I'm sure the Raygun will be back as well. I think that was also previously leaked. Apparently, all of the perks from Cold War Zombies will be back as well. We're not sure if there's going to be any new ones. The crafting table will be returning as well. So it seems like we're going to be getting a lot of similar systems that we've been used to from these past couple Treyarch experiences. Let me know in the comments which map are you most excited for. Personally, I think I'm more excited for the Terminus Island map. I loved Zetsubo no Shima, especially the vibe, the atmosphere. And storyline-wise, this is the map we know the most about. And I think the plot for the map, considering it seems like Dr. Peck may be a protagonist now and he's going to be trying to break the Requiem Heads and strike team out of prison, that's a really cool premise for the map. And I wonder how much that they may have been experimented on by Richthofen. But nevertheless, the next big piece of news has a lot of people really stressed and really worried is because apparently in the files of the game, reward rifts have been found, just like we've seen in Modern Warfare Zombies when you complete an objective, or the ones that you have in Outbreak in Cold War Zombies. And apparently also, an Ether Extractor objective has been found, which suggests that there might be some sort of mode that is similar to Outbreak slash Modern Warfare Zombies coming back. And apparently, there's also been found in the files a hub zone. If you are unaware, with Vanguard Zombies, where they tried to do some sort of scaled back, smaller condensed version of Outbreak, where you had the main map, which was referred to as the hub, and then you would teleport to different multiplayer sections, or Shinonuma, or whatever, and those were where you would do the objectives. Well, this hub has been found in the files. Now, people are getting really stressed right now, saying, we just want to see Round Base back. But personally, I'm down to see Outbreak and Round Base both updated simultaneously, as long as it doesn't drastically impact the amount of Round Base content we receive. I want to see two Round Base maps on launch, like is rumored, and then four Round Base maps in this DLC. At least one more than we got in Cold War, whilst then also seeing some sort of Outbreak 2.0 variant released post-launch. Different to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, where it's not a DMZ hybrid, it's not on a 60-minute cooldown, something you can play indefinitely on the Warzone map. For example, Verdansk is rumored to return with COD 2024, maybe that'll be the map it's played on. And you can explore the full map, just like in Modern Warfare Zombies, play at your own pace, do objectives, contracts, side objectives at your own will, at your own discretion, and you are not stressed by that time limit. That's what I would want to see, more akin to the original Outbreak, but you just don't teleport. However, if a hub has been found, this suggests it might be more similar to Vanguard Zombies, which is the most hated zombies experience in existence, so I don't see why Treyarch would do this. There is also a huge possibility we are misinterpreting this stuff from the files. There might not be any sort of Outbreak variant or Vanguard Zombies variant in this. It might just straight up be RAM-based, and this could just be getting misinterpreted. For example, the hub teleporter could just be reusing the teleporter animation in this, and there might not be a hub. For example, on Firebase Z, you literally start in the spawn, or on Moon, you start in the spawn and then teleport to the full map. Maybe that could be similar in this, where you might spawn on a section and then you teleport into the full map, and it's just reusing that teleporter from Vanguard Zombies. For example, on the island map, you might spawn in on the boat that Dr. Peck is traveling to the island to, and then you might have to teleport onto the island itself through this rift. That's always a possibility. So yeah, we could be drastically misinterpreting this stuff, but even if it is true that some sort of outbreak variant is returning, I just hope it's good. But if it's similar to Vanguard though, I don't think it's going to be good because Vanguard just was a really boring experience. I wouldn't mind having an additional mode. So at least there's something extra in between the droughts between RAM based maps, but Vanguard Zombies was just so poorly received. I don't know why they would create any mode that's remotely similar to that. If they want to do some sort of objective based mode again, similar to Outbreak, ignore what they did with Vanguard and just do an open world experience.
experience. I don't know why there would need to be a hub that you then teleport to. In the latter stages of Outbreak, they started releasing, of course, like Armada and other multiplayer maps, and I think they actually worked better in Outbreak because they were more condensed and more tight, close quarters. So maybe this mode could be, you know, you teleport between different multiplayer maps, similar to Vanguard, and you do a different objective on each one, a different contract per se. So yeah, not really sure what to make of this. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Like I said, this is just a rumor. This could be getting misinterpreted. In fact, it's probably likely it's getting misinterpreted because Court Effects has also apparently been found in the files. Court Effects died at the end of Vanguard Zombies, so I don't know why he would be back unless it's in some sort of flashback or a flashback cutscene showing uh, him getting eaten by Zykov or something like that, but I don't know why that would be incorporated. It's rumored that the old ones are going to be returning in this in COD 2024 Zombies, but that wouldn't involve Court Effects. He's long since dead, or at least we assume he is. So yeah, I'm not sure what that is about. Nevertheless, though, that's all of the new leaks and rumors for COD 2024 Zombies. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this, and like I said, take it all with a massive grain of salt. Round Base is definitely confirmed to be coming back, so there will be content for you. There might be some sort of Outbreak mode or an open world mode as well, but I just hope that there's enough content for both modes so both communities are happy, which I think they did kind of semi-well with Cold War, but they definitely needed to be, I feel like, a bit more content for both modes. But Treyarch have had four years to work on this, so I hope they manage that, but at the same time, they've been working on other things like Vanguard, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and of course, they're working on COD 2025 Zombies too, so who knows? Now, it is also rumored that Warzone Mobile might be getting a Zombies mode, so we're unsure what that'll be, whether it'll be round-based or maybe if Treyarch are working on some sort of other objective oriented mode that could be coming to mobile, but could it even have cross-progression with the console slash PC version? Who knows? Now, different perk icons have been found as well. I think these are for multiplayer, though. Like I said, in terms of perks, it seems like we're just going to be getting the standard ones from Cold War. We're unsure if there's going to be upgrades to them or what, but I'll keep you updated if we learn anything new. It is rumored we might be getting a pack punch animation returning as well, which was removed in Cold War for a quicker, more seamless approach. It's rumored Gobblegums might be back as well, so this game is shaping up to be a decent experience from the sounds of it, with the classic jingles back too. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So, anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.